All right guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to add custom walk and run animations to Roblox Studio. So let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna run the game. So after you've run the game, go inside your character that's found inside the workspace. Now open up that little drop down menu on the side over here. Now you can see a local script called animate inside. So what you wanna do is you wanna copy that script. So we're gonna right click and click copy. Now you can stop running the game. Now what you want to do is you want to paste that script by doing control V. So now you have this animate script in the workspace over here. So what you want to do is you want to move it to starter character scripts. So it's found under starter player. So starter character scripts is inside starter player. So you want to move the animate script inside. Now when you look inside this animate script, you can see a bunch of values inside. All these values inside represent the different emotes a player can have. So you have the fall, idle, jump, laugh, point, run, sit, swim animations all inside here. If you open up the run value for example, you can see an animation that's stored inside. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create an animation and we're going to replace the animation ID that's found inside this animation to the one that we just created. So let's create the animation. So we're going to go under the avatar tab and we're going to insert a rig. So you can go under rig builder and select the rig type that you want. So we're just going to insert a block avatar. So now what you want to do is you want to open the animation editor over here. So we're going to select the rig we want to animate and we're just going to call it run animation. So here we're going to create a custom run animation that you can implement into your game. So a run animation consists of the character's arms and legs moving up and down and back and forth. So that's what we're going to do over here. So let's just drag this timeline down a little bit over here and we're going to rotate the character's arms and position them in a way that makes it look like the character's running. So we're going to drag it up here we're going to put the other arm the other way. We're going to bring their legs forward and backwards as well. And we're going to put the other leg in the opposite direction. So you can see the animation looks like this so far. You can see the character's legs and arms moving. And now we want them to move the other way. So we're going to drag the timeline down a little further and we're going to bring their arms back the other way. Now we're going to do the same thing for the legs. So let me just play the animation, see what it looks like. And you can loop it to see if it looks smooth. And maybe we want to bring the legs and arms back to its default position for the last keyframe. So by doing this, we'll make the animation look a little more natural. So I'm going to play the animation again. And that looks alright. But maybe this looks a little too similar to the default animation. So just to show you, it's going to be a custom animation. We're going to spring the arms forward a bit. We're going to spring the arms sideways a bit. So I'm just going to drag out the arms a bit. And when we get to here, we're also going to rotate the arms out. Let me just play it again and see if it looks a little better. Now let's make it even more unique, just so I can prove to you that this is a unique animation. I'm going to put the legs up above 90 degrees, like this, and I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Now if you're having trouble animating this, you can check out my animation guide. I'll leave an info card about here. 
right? So I've made the animation extremely exaggerated so you can see that this is in fact a unique animation. So I'm just gonna play it one more time just to show you what it's gonna look like. So it looks like this. It looks kind of funny, but you know it's a custom animation. And the last thing we have to do is just publish the animation. So you can go under these three dots over here and click Publish to Roblox. So you can't see the Publish button because the window is a little too big, so we can just size it down a bit. And we're just going to drag it up and it reveals the Publish button over here. So after you've named your animation, you can just click Save. So now you've successfully published your own animation. Now you want to keep this animation ID over here, so you can click this button over here to copy it. And we're going to close. Now we're going to go under that animate script that we had earlier. And we're going to go down to the run value. Now inside the run value there was an animation. So the animation object has its own property called animation ID. We're going to replace that animation ID with the animation that we just created. I'm going to paste the ID that we just copied over when we published our animation. So I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to enter it. Now when we run the game, this animate script gets copied to our character. So all the animations inside are the ones that are going to play. So since we replaced the running animation inside this animate script, our character should use the new animation that we just created instead of Roblox's default animation. Just remember when you're creating the animation to create the animation for the correct rig type. So if you want R6 characters in your game, you would use an R6 rig. Or if your game uses R15 characters, make sure to use an R15 rig when you're animating. So without further ado, we're going to play the game and we're going to see our custom animation. Alright, so I'm going to prepare to run and the custom animation should be playing right about now. Alright, so as you can see, our custom animation is playing, so we know that it worked. Now, besides the walk and run animations, you can change all the default animations that are listed inside the animate script. So if you really wanted to, you could create your own custom fall animation, your own custom idle animation, jump animations, anything that's listed here, you can make your own version of. So now you can create any kind of custom animation that you want to put inside your game. I hope you learned something new in this video and as always please like and subscribe if you found this helpful and thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.